So the first element of the triangle that we looked at before is going to be aperture. Now aperture is all to do with your camera lens. Now if you have a look through the lens, I'm not sure if you can see, you can see the hole and that hole gets bigger or smaller depending on what settings you use. So inside that lens you've got a circle. So I'll try and demonstrate this as best I can. Biggest challenge is drawing a circle. So. Say you've got your circle in your lens. I think you, can you see that? Now inside your lens, you've got little slats, and they kind of look like this sort of shape, and they go all the way around, so they sort of start to overlap each other. So obviously, they'll be going on top and behind each other. This is my awful drawing of it. But eventually, they all join up in the circle and you end up with a smaller circle in the middle. And this is a circle where the light for your image will be coming in and out. The amount of light that gets into your image will obviously vary depending on whether this hole is small or whether it's large. And the amount of light that gets into your image determines how light or dark your image is going to be. So if you've ever tried to play around with your manual settings and all of your pictures have come out black, or perhaps it will come out uh, white, it's probably because you've got some of your settings wrong and there's too much light getting into your image. So these slats move away from each other or further towards each other depending on your settings. So not only does this um, hole affect how much light gets into your image, it also affects the amount of blur. So one comparison I like to do is if you compare this to your eye, so say you're squinting, so squint really, really hard, so you've got a, a small aperture. So squint as much as you can, you'll see there's, there's less light getting in. So obviously if you're in a really bright room, you squint because it's too bright. Vice versa, if it's very dark in the room, you open your eyes a lot wider, you're trying to take in as much light as you can in order to see in the darkness. So this is what your lens is doing, it's restricting the light, so that it's not flooded with too much light or it's expanding that hole so that more light can come in. It all depends on the situation that you're shooting in and you'll learn to do that for your camera so rather than shooting in automatic where your camera's deciding how much light to let in you'll be telling it how much light to let in. So again same with your eyes if you open your eyes really really wide you'll notice that it's quite hard to focus because there's just there's so much light coming in, you're getting a lot of blur. Alternatively, if you squint, you can focus a lot more. You, you'll um, notice when people are looking into the, the distance. Okay, admittedly, some people just have bad eyesight. But if you squint, you can focus on the things that you may not um, be able to focus on if you were just looking normally. So if you compare your eyes to this diagram, it's easier to remember what your lens is doing when you're playing with your aperture. When I'm referring to blur here, I mean background blur. So a lot of people want to capture an image of uh, like a portrait. So you want to have the person in focus and the background to be completely blurry so you can only just make it out. And in that situation, you would use your aperture to manipulate how much blur is in the background. If you didn't want a lot of blur, you'd use a a small aperture, so a smaller hole, um, in order to get less blur behind the person, you'd, you can focus more. That is a very brief run through what aperture is and sort of physically what it is inside your camera. But you can't just change your aperture if you're shooting in manual, you need to know what to do with your shutter speed and your ISO in order to get a good balance of light and of um, blur and detail. So we'll go through the other two. So let me know how you got on with that, if that explained it in enough detail for the time being. And remember, we are going to put this all together and learn how to manipulate these settings in order to get the images you need.